On July 5, I needed another break from writing after finally wrapping up chapter 10 and 11 on the previous days. The writing of the final two chapters of my novel, chapters 12 and 13, was starting to get to me and I was feeling overwhelmed, so I decided to make notebooks again. This is the Maika Anyanskin notebook, the 40 GSM, the slightly thicker version, and I have been folding sheets of them to make signatures to make a notebook with 1,008 pages. And as usual, I worked on the notebooks while watching CSI. This is still season five. But then later on that day, I got a terrible headache and I did take medication for it, but it did not take away the pain completely and I couldn't overdose on pain medication. So I was alternately asleep and awake for several hours. Later that evening, Jawaid came to check on me and bring me food, so I did get out of bed and I was able to eat something because I didn't eat anything for the entire day. But then again, I went back to sleep after he left. On July 6, I felt better. There was only a teeny tiny bit of headache left, so I was able to make it to the drafting sprints with Alex Morrissey. And I used this class to continue working on my novel in progress. And for the moment, I have combined the drafts for chapters 12 and 13 because I thought it would help with the flow of the narrative. And here is a list of the things that should go into chapters 12 and 13. Together, these two chapters must have 9,500 words, and at this point, I had only 1,600. And by the way, here is an updated list of my word counts. The recently finished chapter 10 has 4,900 words, and chapter 11 has 5,000 words. The chapters here are slightly longer than the others because things are already rising to the final climax, coming to a close, and there is more action and everything is moving faster. This is Act 3, and uh, Act 3 contains chapters 10 to 13. And here is what happened on July 6, as written on the tracking sheet of my planner. I had that writing sprint class with Alex Morrissey, and then I continued making the notebooks, and then I ran some errands. I actually stepped out of the house, even when I was supposed to be cramming, <laughs> because I needed a change of scene, I needed some air, I've been cooped up in my bedroom for days, and I was sick as well. So I needed to go out. And then after I got back, I was able to get some sleep. And then I just continued working. And towards the end of the day, I had 2,400 words for chapters 12 and 13. On July 7, I can feel paralysis starting. It felt like I wanted to leave the project. I got some sleep and then I wrote for a bit and then I made notebooks and then I read a book. The book that I started reading was Violetta by Isabel Allende. I have the Kindle version. And then at noon, I worked on the submission of additional files that I was told to send regarding my registration as a publication specialist with the National Book Development Board. And then after that, I went to sleep again and then I went back to writing only towards the end of the day. By this time, I had 3,800 words written out of the 9,500 that I needed for chapters 12 and 13. And I was kind of feeling anxious already because the work should go fast, but I was being very slow. The work should go fast because this is already Act 3. Everything that I have built up in Acts 1 and 2 should merely come to the most logical conclusion in Act 3, but I don't know why I'm being very slow. I actually started having doubts here about my first two acts because I knew that if I have written them well, then Act 3 should practically write itself, but I'm being very slow with Act 3, so what's the problem? Could it be that I have not written Acts 1 and 2 well? 
But instead of agonizing over what I've done in the past, I just decided to persevere. I sat down and dealt with it. So that on July 8, which is one day before I am supposed to submit my final draft to the publisher, I decided to separate again the files for chapters 12 and 13. And when I separated them, I saw that chapter 12 had 3,700 words and chapter 13 had 1,600. And then I attended this really helpful class with Randy Henderson called How to Be a Happy and Successful Writer. The title of the class is, is a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but really it's about how to manage your mental health and remain strong and positive after rejections, after experiencing standstills, and also how to manage creative blocks and how to keep the writing flow even during the most difficult times because as writers, really we feel crappy when we're not writing, but it's also not easy to write. So what are you going to do? This class with Randy discussed exactly what to do. So I found it very, very helpful. And it was also quite funny. And later on that day, I was finally able to finish writing chapter 12, which was a relief. And it has 4,480 words. And notice the last lines. That's how chapter 12 ends. I copy-pasted all of chapter 12 from that individual file and pasted it into the full working draft of the novel. See, these are the same ending lines. And the word count for the entire novel was already 55,500. And now I can finally close that file for chapter 12 and expand the window for chapter 13. And the app that I am using to manage, manage the windows on my um, monitor is called Magnet and it's on the bar at the top. Just choose where and what size you want any specific window to be. And so now there's chapter 13 and then there's the list of everything that should go in it and then the parts that are grayed out here are for chapters 10, 11, and 12, and they're already finished, so I grayed them out. And below is the window for the full working draft for the entire novel. And then here's what happened during July 8. Very early in the morning, I worked on chapter 12, which was a continuation of my work from the previous night, as you can see here. And then I had a Zoom class, the one with Randy Henderson, and then I went to sleep, and then I had a writing session class with Gordon White, and that's when I finished writing chapter 12. I'm telling you, these online writing sessions and writing sprint classes are really helpful. They're really helpful. I highly recommend that you join a bunch of them. And then I worked on notebooks and edited chapter 12, and then there was nothing much for the rest of the day. But aside from finally finishing and editing chapter 12, I was able to go through the entire novel and do some polishing work. July 9 was D-Day. This is the day that I promised the publisher that I would submit the final draft of my novel. And I had the writing session with Rashida Smith. And I do like Rashida's writing sessions because it's always scheduled to run for only an hour. But she always asks people if they want to stay on beyond the hour. And we, we always want to stay on beyond the hour. So we stay on for two hours. Two hours of writing, you guys. It's great. And then here is my monitor. That's the full draft. Here's chapter 13 and the list of things that should be in, in chapter 13. And at the moment, I have 2,000 words for chapter 13. And then I had another Zoom class, which was how to organize your writing work by LaShawn Wanek. And this was another awesome class. She talked about apps and software that can literally help organize your writing work. She showed us examples of how to do it using some of her actual ongoing work. And the other people in the class also shared their suggestions and the interaction was just so great. Now, you know, I use index cards, right? Old school. That class with LaShawn made me want to try out Notion and a Scrivener. And in the afternoon, I had about 3,800 words, and I was really agonizing here, you guys. I knew how the novel should end. It's what I have been building up to since the very beginning, but I did not know how to write that ending. 
But then I realized that I still have my old files from November 2012 when I was writing the first draft of the novel during NaNoWriMo that year. See, I have them all here and the files are generated daily. I went to the final file here at the bottom and I saw that I wrote a prologue, which was like a flashback. And this prologue I decided to delete in 2021 because I realized that I did not like prologues in novels. <laughs> so I did not want a prologue in mine. But reading through this prologue that I wrote in 2012, this was the ending that I wanted. So I took that part, I revised it to fit the narrative flow of chapter 13, and also to incorporate the other details that uh, was not in the 2012 uh, version. And then finally, chapter 13 was finished. Let me tell you, never deleting anything is a lifesaver. So let me just show you here the information regarding my NaNoWriMo files from 2012. This file labeled full was created on November 29, 2012 at 7.51 in the evening. And I suppose that's when I finished writing for NaNoWriMo. I suppose that's when I already had 50,000 words, which was the goal. And the file labeled day one was created on November 2, 2012 at 8.53 in the evening. And how I did NaNoWriMo then was I wrote 1,667 words per day and I, I had a full-time job then so I could only start working on it at five. So most of these files were created in the evening of every single day in November. And because I did finish my 50,000 words, I got a certificate for it here, which is blank. This is just, you know, a, a download from the site. And then I just edited it to add my details. That's my name and the title of my novel. Ten years after, finally, my novel, The Maps of Camarines, is finished with 60,500 words, and that is still within the range of the word count requested by the publisher. Then, finally, comes my favorite part of all, which is submission. And it was a little after 3 p.m. when I hit send. And that is it! Mission accomplished. Thank you so much to everyone for being so patient with me as I shared my process. I really just wanted to be publicly accountable to myself regarding my progress with this particular project. I will still continue with the Clarion West Write-a-thon because I have two short stories to write and maybe the beginning of a new novel. We will see. However, I will not vlog about those anymore. From here on out, I am just going to take it easy with the rest of the write-a-thon.